guns to sweat and be dripping off the shots the dive took him. What's going on guys, it's Universal Soldier and before I get started with this video, I want to apologize to all my subscribers and all my viewers for making a terrible best class setup video for Battlefield Hardline. I'm not going to lie, I did rush the video. Um, I rushed the video for a number of reasons to get views and also, you know, to, to revamp the channel and get it up and running again. But, um... Also, I should have uh, been in, not been listening to Sanity. Now, that's my boy and everything, but I should have did it alone. And yeah, some things weren't locked, but at the same time, through my extensive class setup videos, I can tell what's what's gonna be good with the gun, what's gonna handle right. You know, I just have that instinct. But uh, I just want to apologize, you know, for um, making not making a good video and it's kind of understandable because i'm still you know coming back to it you know um just getting back into uploading and you know making videos for you guys so i just want to apologize you know for the video not being up to par second i know um i have not been on in like a week or uploaded in like a week i was at this girl's house and you know i had to get it in you know she had the fat booty and oh man it was it was crazy so y'all can understand that but um getting into this video um hopefully these tips that i'm about to give you will help increase your win loss ratio and um it's only really one tip now basically i'm playing by myself because i don't really know this squad i don't know these guys there's no communication um and basically it's just me solo you know holding the enemy back um, and, and trying to gain ground at the same time. But the most biggest way to increase or to get your idiot teammates to rally behind you so you can actually stand a chance of winning and, high, and having a, a higher win ratio is the thing that you don't want to do the most. And that is getting in that spawn truck and driving from the spawn to the objective. And that really plays a crucial role in having a high win ratio. Um, most people just want to spawn on their team or their, their team member, but if you brought that mobile spawn to the objective, um, like I'm playing Conquest, you brought it to Conquest and an objective, it allows the whole team to spawn there. You know what I mean? So you'll have a better fighting chance of capturing that, that, um, that, that objective or in blood money, what I'll do is, um, I will get the the spawn point. Just thinking strategically here, I will get the mobile the mobile the spawning truck, and I will move it in an area between, depending on the map, between their vault and the 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 actual vault. You know, to get money, because it's very strategic. Because they can not only get vault from the money, but they can also attack their vault. So if you think about it, we'll be getting money two ways instead of one. Um, so, you, you know, you really got to think strategically and, and that's how you can also boost your win, your win loss ratio, because like a week ago, my win loss ratio was at a 75% and I was proud of it I had a high, I have a high KD and a high win loss ratio, but it has been dropping. It is currently at a 60 and it's at a 60 because of, you know, team members you know they don't they're not good and they're not smart so randoms are not good and not smart and of course they just want to probably camp and get kills and you have to feed them breadcrumbs they're idiots and knowing that they're idiots you have to feed them breadcrumbs so the breadcrumb would be me getting this spawn truck and moving it towards the objective then they'll spawn there and they'll they'll kill enemies and you know they'll kill enemies and you know they'll start doing the objective but you have to you have to rally your team members or you know you know the people in the game on your team you know to help you win because when i game in this room um to be honest they had one object they had what one maybe two things i'm not sure but i felt like as we were losing we, we were losing and we still are losing but these tips can definitely increase the win 
ratio, I promise. And especially if you were with, you know, a full squad, of course your ratio is definitely going to increase because you have the communication factor. You have people that you are you are know that are going to try their hardest to, to win. And with utilizing this mobile spawn or the, the, the spawn truck, that will help tenfold. And I know this because that's how I had a high win-loss ratio, you know, but since I liked spawning on my team members and especially when they're in firefights and then, you know, you get killed, that bogs you down and you get out of the habit of uh, using the, the, the spawn truck. So sometimes it's not good, you know, spawning on your, your teammates. Sometimes it's just better overall for the whole team if you go and, and, and take that ale and get that spawn truck and bring it from the spawn into, you know, the objective that you're trying to capture. And uh, that's, that's just really how it, it, it's done sometimes, you know, because at the end of the day, we all want to have a high win ratio. We all want to win, but sometimes people are not willing to do what it takes to win. And that is like a game changer. You know, that is, is how you'll have a better chance of winning. And uh, it, it, it's, it's really the, the most simplest things, but most people don't really want to do them. So, you know, I'm just sharing this tip with you. You know, I love y'all guys, you know, um, and I just want to appreciate y'all, you know, all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. I want to appreciate, I really appreciate all of y'all. And so, I just want to thank y'all, you know. I know that was kind of random, but, you know, I never, I kind of didn't think I was going to come back to gaming, to be honest. Um, because everything wasn't going, it wasn't going my way, it wasn't going my way at all. But, um... But everything is, you know, everything is starting to come together. I'm uploading videos. Uh, I'm getting views. I'm getting more subs. I'm on Twitch now. So it's only a matter of time before, you know, I really get big again. Or get out there like I want to be. Now, also, on the operator class, um, I think personally the AKM is the best assault rifle. Because of the damage. Now, the, it doesn't have high... It doesn't have high... Uh, you know, fire rate, but uh, the damage really, it really, it really makes a difference. It really drops people. And, uh, you know, going back to, you know, focusing on the wins, how to win, also, you know, what you rock can also make a difference. It really can, because look, if you're killing people quick on those objectives, if you're killing them quick and in stealth, you have a higher chance of capturing that objective. And that, that capture could be the, the capture that, that puts y'all in the lead. You know, you got to look at it from every angle, you know. And you once you combine all of these things, you know, you'll be a complete package in Battlefield Hardline. And that's what I've tried to been, that's what I've been trying to, you know, be is a, a complete package. And uh, I think it's really working well. You know, I got the, the high kill-death ratio. My win-loss is still fairly decent. You know, it's at a 60. <clears throat> it took a huge drop, but um, I got to even follow my own tips, you know, because sometimes, honestly, I'll get bogged down. I want to spawn on people and uh, just go straight for kills. But by me doing that, you know, I'm getting out of, of, of a way I've tried to train myself, you know, to become a better player. And so the mobile spawn is really just the key, man. It's the key to making the difference. Because I'm in the area now, but thanks to the mobile spawn, we're, we're in this bitch, and we've captured, and we're in here, you know? We're in this bitch, it's ours. Now, of course, I'm going to end up losing this game, because in the end, you know, I joined too late, and, um, because usually Conquest games are like 20 minutes. Um, this game was like half that, uh, like almost half that, you know, 13, 14 minutes, but, uh, you know, I joined too late, so it was only so much I could do, but I felt like, you know, I really rallied the team. The team was really giving it more of a fighting chance, and uh, that's all you can hope for at the end of the day, you know, is, is for the team to, to do their job. Caught this bump slipping right here. Had to hit him up. <laughs> but I love the AK, man. I love the AK. About to catch some bums right here. Ooh. 
It's Universal Soldier. All right. Love y'all guys. Make sure y'all hit that sub button. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. And I'm out. And I hope the tips help. Peace.